Well, hey there, guys. Long time no see. It's me, Anxious Cynic, back with another Minimator tutorial. I had this idea to try and mimic the Avengers character disintegration effect, so I decided to make a tutorial for it. For those of you who can figure this out on their own, here's a look at the project that I made for the opening skit. There you go, you're welcome. So before we move forward, I wanna give a public service announcement. As you may have noticed, I haven't been making tutorials very often recently, and that's because I basically accomplished my goal of making a definitive beginner's guide for Minimator. If we're gonna be realistic about it, it's a basic beginner software, and I pretty much covered most of the beginner aspects that a new user would need to know. But still, people often ask, you know, where the tutorials are, and that's fine. However, if your intention is to bully, threaten, or intimidate me to create the kind of content you want to see, then you might as well go ahead and unsubscribe. Because that kind of ish doesn't work around here, I'm afraid. I'm not your mom. She has to love you as difficult as that may be for her, but I don't. I'm just a guy on the internet who likes to make videos that I want to make. Speaking of which, go subscribe to my animation channel, Box Brig Animations, for the best Minecraft life and Monster School animations you'll ever see. And I mean that. So now that the unpleasantries are out of the way, let's begin the tutorial. In public service announcement. All right guys, so here we are at Minimator and I'm just gonna work within this scene that I created for uh, the uh, effect here. So a couple of things I should note before we get started, you will need some kind of scenery because the, this uses the alpha glitch and the way that it tends to work will make it so if you're using flatlands or whatever, I think you'll lose your grass and stuff. So you'll need some kind of added scenery to make this effect work, which hopefully you're doing anyway because nobody likes flatlands. So uh, let's go ahead and see if we can spawn in a new character. Okay, so here we go. Here's our new little scene set up here. And uh, what I'm gonna do is bring in a dang old surface. We're gonna create this and then we're gonna bring it on over. We're gonna get it positioned. It doesn't really matter what the position is. Oops, let me turn that off. Uh, it doesn't really matter what position it's in. It just needs to be in front of the character here. And we can obviously it depends on, you know, what your camera position is going to be and all this kind of stuff. But we can scale it up so it covers the whole character or just a part of him if you need, uh, if you have a closer up shot of him or whatever. Just for the sake of this, we're going to go like this. All right, so I went ahead and created a new scene so we can actually see what's going to go on here. So we have new scenery, got this little yacht here, we got our villager and our surface, and I put a camera down here so we can kind of see how we would be composing the shot. So basically, the first thing is first is you're going to be using the alpha glitch for this. So what you need is your alpha values or your render depth values to be different for the ship or your scenery, whatever that's going to be, and your surface. So if I make the render depth for the ship, let's just say negative two, and then I make it like, I think negative one, I'm not sure how those work exactly. And then we're gonna go to the color for the surface here, and we're gonna drag the alpha down to like 1%. And you'll see that it basically disappears. But if I change the render depth there, then you'll see it does this. And that's why you can't use flatlands or anything like that. You always want scenery because that needs to work. If it goes below, I think the number, of the render depth for the scenery, then it'll show like whatever is the world made of or whatever that's behind it. So we're gonna be like that. And that basically means that when we cover the uh, villager up, you'll see there, he goes away, but we still see the scenery behind him. So for now, I'm actually gonna leave this up just so we can see it and animate it because that's what we'll be doing. So there we go. So essentially, all we're going to be doing, like I wish you could feather this so it would be more gradual. As you can see, it's just like a straight line. But we're trying to do this all in Minimator, not use any effects programs or anything like that. So you kind of have to just work with what you got. If somebody else can tweak this and make a better way, then uh, feel free and let me know in the comments. But uh, anyway, so what we're going to do is basically time this up, sync it up with some particles. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to create a new particle, create. And uh, we're just gonna drag this up. And I actually made a particle preset. I will try to remember to include it as a download link in the description if you guys wanna use the one that I made that kind of just resembles a basic disintegration effect. And I'll go over it with you guys in a moment here. So this is the default one that I spawned in. I'm gonna go up here to this little import particle from 
file thingy. Click on that. I'm gonna navigate to where I have that file saved. Here is my particle save right there. I'm gonna open that up. And then as you can see, it does that. And we've got quite a bit of spar <laughs> spawning particles coming in right there. So basically what this is, is the fire and smoke particle preset, but I edited it to, well, that was a hard word to say. I edited it to do what I wanted to do. So it's basically just this one square pixel particle. I adjusted some of the uh, settings here for how it comes out. As you can see, it sort of comes out and forward and then up and sort of off to the side here. So basically what I want to do, I'm going to go ahead and grab, let me go ahead and move these down so I can affect them together. I'm going to bring these back just a tad. You got to make sure that it stays in front of your subject. And essentially what we're going to have, let me zoom in here. We're just going to make the surface go in front of the villager until he is covered up basically. And then we're going to take our particle creator and let's just say this part is going to be for the head. And so we have our colors mimicking that. So the color here, the start color, I have it kind of going from one color to another. You can leave it where it goes to the same, just unchecked random or make those two colors different, whatever you need to do for whatever your skin is or whatever it is you're making disintegrate. But uh, anyway, so I kind of have it just looking like his skin uh, for that one. And we're just gonna match this up. Essentially, this one needs to begin right around where the surface begins to interact with his head, right around there. And we're just gonna line this up to be right about there and then have it follow over. And then what we'll do is watch this. Cause like essentially what we want is this to basically be locked onto the edge of that. And then what you can do since it's locked on there and it's moving with it, right around there where the head is completely covered we're going to put another keyframe and then i'm going to go over here to the frame properties and i'm going to say no more spawn particles there and then i'm going to put another keyframe at the beginning so we're not spawning particles the whole time either so that way we only spawn the particles right there in that position if any of this is confusing i recommend watching my beginner's guide series where i covered this maybe a little bit better so we're going to go ahead and save and the effect you get there, if we go ahead and take our surface, I'm going to highlight all the keyframes and I'm going to say 1% on the alpha so we don't see it at all. Huzzah! Just like that. And that's really fast. It happens uh, maybe a little bit way too fast. So I'm going to try and take this and drag this way out and make it go slower. That may have messed up our timing a bit think it did yep it did so what all we got to do though is just uh, make this so we can see it again and we'll just realign these you know you just want to get this kind of stuff get your speed and everything sorted out first I kind of did it quickly there so that kind of screwed us up but you know it'll work either way all right and then we just do the little trick that I said right about where his head gets completely covered we put a keyframe and that's where it's gonna stop spawning, but I think I lost the keyframe in there somewhere. Right about there where it hits them, that's where we want it to spawn particles, and we're gonna line this up with the edge of that. Oop, and then it goes away. All right, so then now when we make that invisible, technically, 1%, then you get this effect. Uh, obviously it should go a little bit slower there if you looked in the first example that I had in this video it goes slower and it looks better in my opinion but essentially that's what you get so what you may have noticed though in my example in the beginning the uh, the arm and everything like this stuff started going too so all I'm gonna do to achieve that I actually have those particles there but we'll just do it the old school way I'm gonna duplicate this particle system that I have here so now we have two when I bring this into the scene we're going to click on this. It's already got the preset applied. So uh, we actually have way too much going on. Let's go ahead and turn those particles off for now. We'll just see them down here. Maybe that'll be a little bit better. Uh, so what we're going to do is do the same thing with this one. So right about here. Let's actually make that visible again. Once again, I'm kind of doing this off because I'm trying to show you guys how to do it. So I apologize if it's confusing or coming off weird or whatever. But... I don't know, I didn't rehearse this. So we're just gonna line this up 
with the edge here. I'm gonna put that somewhere around here because it's gonna hit his arm first. So that's unfortunately kind of the way we have to make that work. Right about there. And then we're gonna put this back here. And remember, no spawn particles. So we want it to spawn only when we tell it to. So there you go, it's hitting it. And keep going. We'll just go on right here and just, whoops, hang on. It's affecting that one where I had that highlighted. Sorry about that. I'm gonna bring this over here. Just kind of keep it aligned with that edge. And then like I said, we'll follow it. And right there where the whole body is covered, we're gonna put another keyframe and say stop spawning particles. So then you get all the parts of the, the villager evaporating or disintegrating the way we want, but those colors are wrong. So what I'm gonna do is click on the second one. Obviously you should name these to keep up with what's going on because that can be pretty confusing. And I'm gonna change the colors for this one because you know, his clothes are green, not skin tone. So we're just gonna roughly pick a couple of colors here. I'll leave that little like fade to darkness, like he's turning to ash or something. Go ahead and just affect these first colors here. Since there's multiple colors in the pixels of his his uh, tunic or whatever you want to call that there, then we're just gonna roughly pick similar variations. So now, what we get, let's uh, bring this up. This should be about what we want, guys. We're gonna hope so. I'm gonna save it. When we play this, it moves over. And you'll see that those colors are what we want. And then those two particle types. Oh, we actually have uh, those. We can, I think, get rid of those. I'm going to try getting rid of those. Because we don't need it after the particle stops spawning. So we get rid of those uh, things. Uh, Keyframes. There we go. That's the word. Here we go. I'm going to take this. Bring it down to 1%. So now that we think we have everything the way we want, we can finalize that surface to be invisible. Hit play. And there he goes, man. Obviously, you can touch this up any number of ways and make things better. One thing I recommend is on the surface, you go to Don't Cast Shadows, just in case you don't want any weird lighting artifacts showing up or anything like that. And, uh, yeah, you could turn off Cast Shadows for the particles, but they may actually be okay. Like, you can actually see the shadow of the particles on some things, depending on your lighting and stuff. Shouldn't be too terrible. So one thing you may notice here is you can still see the slight effect there you can see the surface is like slightly darker there coming over i'm not exactly sure why let's turn on cast shadows again now you can still see it uh, i'm not 100 sure why that is turn off show back faces it may be just the lighting in the scene there may be ways you can cover that up with better lighting or something uh let me see if i drag this around whoops let's put the uh, lighting on his face there let's see what that looks like you can still see it. It's pretty subtle though. I think you could get away with it. Um, it really depends. Maybe you can play with it a bit and figure out things you can do to correct that. If anyone else knows the alpha glitch better than I do, maybe you can chime in with a solution to that little glitch there. But uh, yeah, there's your effect. You don't feel too good, man. All right. One final note, by the way guys, you'll notice that I have the clouds turned off and I did that because the alpha glitch seems to affect the clouds. If I play this back, then you'll see that they disappear. So unfortunately, that is something you'll have to keep in mind that the built-in clouds in the background settings will be affected by this effect. So if you want clouds, then you may have to use like an item or something to make custom clouds. Uh, but yeah, that's why you'll want to have them turned off. This effect would probably work better if you did uh, like an indoor scene rather than outdoor, things like that, so you can have a more controlled environment. There you go, that's it, that's the final tip. If I forgot anything else, man, you're on your own. So that's it guys, that was the tutorial. Hope you guys have fun with this effect. If you're interested in the Minecraft animation compilation, if you're not aware, we've moved it to the Boxspring Animations channel. So I'll try to have a link in the description for the rules video, if any of you are interested in participating in that, who knows, this tutorial may come into play for a theme. Never know, man. It's all random and life is chaos. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.